Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another repair video here in the lab. This is for an instrument cluster on a Eurovan 99. This is for uh, He contacted me uh, almost a week ago about his cluster issues and he sent it. I got the cluster yesterday night, so I'm, I'm starting to do the test. I usually do perform a pre or, you know, before repairs test to make sure the actual uh, instrument cluster is working good. This is for his records and, our re and my records, and also to show you a little bit of what we're doing on the lab. So yes, he's. Uh, this is his notes. He said that he has this um, a few years ago, and now it's not working. Is he used to just remove the battery, disconnected the battery, would have like reset it, but now that stopped working. I am providing a speed, which I'm going to change. You can see I can go up. Uh, I don't like that jumping, and this is not normal. Let me go down because I'm barely providing any speed in here. This should be like almost in like uh, 10 miles, 5 miles an hour, and it's reading like 70. As you can see, that's the frequency, only 14 hertz. Uh, that is definitely not normal. I also provide um, ball signals for temperature and fuel reading, and they're stuck. I'm going to turn the cluster off. Uh, the, R the RPMs are completely stuck. So right now, as you can see, it's off. I'm going to set it up. I'm on again, and you will see this uh, trying to move, but it's definitely the separate motors are better. Be uh, be uh, sorry, they're bad as well see that's now a little normal they kind of reset but this is exactly his experience so we do have like i was saying you see 10 miles or so for an hour and that's you know what i have in there so i'm i'm very very familiar with these clusters now they're kind of reading good and this is the intermediate exactly what he's experiencing you see now the rpm is in in normal position and it was stuck in there so yeah this is john's um cluster and he said that he has let me see off records 7650 so yes uh, 7652 to be exact those are your mileage and yes at least uh, yes this definitely can be repaired i will be again uh, taking it apart replacing all the separate motors uh, doing a reflux in the entire board, cleaning it up. Uh, there is a few capacitors that needs to be replaced in the voltage regulator. I have all parts in stock for these ones are no longer available. These are 197, uh, 1997, 19, uh, up to 2001, I think they still use the same cluster. They're very reliable vehicles and it's still out there. As you can see, I'm been working on them. Uh, so if you have any of these ones, just please send it over. Like I said, I have everything uh, on, uh, you know, as far as parts, you can go over the website. Again, it's mysalazardiagnostics.com. And yes, this is how it spells. I know that some people will read that as make. Or, so uh, this is just the way my dad and my mom named me. And as I, I think it's a short for Michael. And that's what they uh, probably just put on. A lot of people do that in Latin American countries. But yeah, that's just my name. And it sounds as Mike. Uh, yeah, just go over the website. Again, you can see this is my lab in here. And um, you can go over the contact form. And also, if you want to see the address, you just got to scroll all the way down. I have all the video and YouTubes and everything in there. You got, a, again, the contact form. And then you can have my address and everything in there. If you send me a request uh, contact form, I will contact you as soon as possible. Sometimes I'm, a, I'm, you know, I work as a mechanic in a mechanic shop. I'm the shop foreman for Bavarian Motor Repairs in Maryland. That's completely different business. Some people is trying to confuse that. And no, I do record a lot of diagnostics videos in there to also share with the people because, you know, my website or my business is also for diagnostics. And uh, I do record a lot of, of those videos in there. Uh, but um one the ecn repairs is right here on the lab it has nothing to do with the shop all right so i also let me show you i am also on this side on the other computer with the other simulator working with a curve tracer um, this is a very very good tool let me turn this around and that is the tool number uce uh, ct.2 
S. I recommend this tool greatly. Uh, customer service is best than none. I mean, I had an issue with one of the um, internal parts in here that were immediately responding. This company, I think, is from, um, I think it's Ukraine. And they responded immediately and uh, they were sending me all the diagrams and I was able to repair it. And I have the tool working 100%. Again, I had uh, the problem that I was having and there's no signals and the actual waveform was just going all the way to the corner. It was just a, a bad op amp. Uh, and they were immediately responding, sending me the information, and I was able to just order the parts and fix it myself. So if you have any of those and you need any repairs, just don't hesitate to contact me, and I will help you with that. And then what we're seeing in there is just a capacitor. What I'm trying to do, this one I removed the microprocessor. This is just a guinea pig computer that I'm reverse engineering and recording all those uh, folders, uh, sorry, all those signals. For those that haven't seen much on this tool, this is a great tool because you can actually go into advanced mode and create your own um, database. Again, you can compare computer to computer, or you can take a picture of the board and then mark every single spot that you're doing and save that information for future references. As you can see in there, is reading as it's doing it, the resistance and it, reading of that capacitor uh, i'm going to tell you let me see it said it's a 46 and that is the capacitor we have there not sure if i will be able to zoom that much in my vision it's not the best so give me one second i'll tell you how close that is to reality all right guys actually i was uh reading that information in there and it's very very accurate that is actually a 47 microfarad uh capacitor and uh is reading 46 point almost 47 microfarads that's, that's right in the money is this very important having a little bit of issue with contact with this uh um with this lead that i'm using that's why i'm losing the contact in there but uh that's you know always if you see that you go into an open uh, i like to use this one because they're kind of like a needle a very very t teeny needle uh tip and i can really poke through the clear code on the um, uh, components without you know having to scrape and do much and uh, that's what I like to use with the Kurt Fraser but yeah the, the readings are pretty good all right so this is uh separate to that going back to this with John all right John definitely definitely we have issues with your clusters I'm going to take it apart and repair it uh, he already approved the repair so that is uh Uh, thank you so much for visiting the channel. And for those that wants to know, I already posted many, many different videos on here. I use Identifix for pretty much all the um, wire diagrams that I use in here, especially for uh, non-BNW. For BNW, I use ESAS in the shop. I have my own personal computer that I have everything loaded in. Let me go over to the information that I have saved to this. So we have in here, let me just open this very quickly. So these are the wire diagrams. Some people don't like for me to record from screen to screen. Um, again, if you need to have wire diagrams, Identifix, uh, you can buy subscriptions or all that, and you can get all this in there the same way. So these are just the uh, wire diagrams I usually uh, corroborate make sure that all my information is correct to what I'm using so this is a very basic system 1999 obviously and um, I also do myself some research and I find you know and I make this I take a photo or you know screenshot and then I go over to paint 3d and I put my own you know like that visually is very fast for me to know uh, which ones are grounds and which ones are power then the ones that are not red or, or or black they're not grounds obviously or powers and i put you know the signals that i use and what i use you know the decay box and and signals and then where the middle is connected and this is the connector pin out so again this is all oem information i always do my homework when i'm doing things like that to make sure that i'm testing the components as supposed to um yep this is going to be a fix i mean a, a repair 
and then to the fix i'm going to increase the rpms right now i mean not the rpm the speed of the of the gauge that hump that you see in there is just a notch that i put on the signal but for the rest it's actually not working and it's like you said it's an intermittent so this is very common on these ones uh, those capacitors they leak and hopefully the board is not damaged and i don't think because it's actually very promising that it's not uh, i mean there is working and i have all on all right so don't let me make this video any longer it's just, just a test and some extra information on my website and how you can contact me as usual thank you so much for visiting the channel don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time thank you so much Bye bye